Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the wordplay.ai review. This is an AI content generating software that allows you to generate a good amount of content with only a few clicks and a small amount of input. At the time of creating this review, they do have a very special deal. I will leave a link in the description. So if you click that, you can check it out and get all the details because eventually it's going to end. So I don't want to confuse anyone. So there are quite a few modes that you can utilize. And by quite a few, I mean like three or four off the top of my head, which I'm going to show you. The first one's going to be guided mode, which I used and I'm going to show you what it produced, but I'll walk you through this step. So it says create content by following a guided process, choose the title and intro and customize them as needed. So for this example, I did best muscle building exercises. If you want to add some internal notes, it's going to be optional and language. I'm just going to go with English. So let's click on next. And here we can generate titles or what we can do is just add our own. Given the fact I've already run through and created this article before, I'm just going to put it in a title and go to next. All right, so we have the best muscle building exercises that you need to be doing at the gym. If you want to, you can always generate titles in case you really want to do a lot less, but let's click on next. For introduction, you can generate the intro or you can add it in. I'm just going to add it in seeing I already have it. All right, so there's our intro. Let's go to the next spot. And what we want to do is submit to writer. All you have to do is just click on this. And then it literally took probably under a minute for it to generate. So I'm not going to do it again, seeing I already have it. And here is going to be the article. We have our introduction. And then going on from there, we have our specific uh, exercises that are great for building muscle. Uh, just kind of quickly going over it. And my first initial thoughts is that the content is good. There are going to be a few blips here. Like you're definitely going to have to do some editing and tweaking here and there. I've noticed that when it comes to any type of AI copywriting software, usually when there's less for you to input and you get more of an output, it's obviously there's going to be more variables. It's going to be more difficult to get something that's absolutely flawless because obviously more can go wrong and there's a lot to write about. For example, like it has an end here. You can just remove that. And if I scroll down to the bottom, the summary could be a little bit better. Like this wasn't all that bad. Could be longer, but then it, it gives you some you know extra exercises that we didn't talk about. So going back up here, I'll just read through a couple of these and I'll leave it right here so you can see you know what some of the content is. But with the bicep curl, one of the best muscle building exercises is the bicep curl. By using this exercise, you are able to work almost every major major muscle group in your upper body. See like there, a little bit incorrect because that's an isolated, um, what's it called? Exercise that works your biceps, maybe your forearms too, if you want to get, you know, uh, really into it, but the bicep curl works your forearm. Okay. <laughs> as I was saying, forearm, wrist, forearm muscles, as well as your triceps. So we have some incorrect content here. Like I said, something you're going to have to go back and redo. It also works your chest, shoulders, and back muscles. This is the bicep curl, right? So this has been incorrect here. What makes it so effective is that it targets many different muscle groups at once, making the process more efficient, incorrect. Furthermore, the bicep curl works your abs. I mean, geez, we're, we're getting a little off on that one. So that one wasn't good. Squat. Uh, the squat is one of the best muscle building exercises for several reasons. One of the most important aspects of this exercise is how it works all the leg muscles simultaneously. At least that's better saying leg muscles and not, you know, like your biceps too. This leads to a more complete workout because you are getting a total body workout with just one movement. The squat is effective because it also targets every muscle in your lower body, including your quads, hamstrings, gluteal muscles, and abdominals. This helps you achieve a well-rounded physique while staying healthy. At least that one was much better. Okay, continuing on. I'm just going to read more so we can check the quality. Pulp is one of the best muscle building exercises you can do. The exercise works a huge amount of muscles, including your biceps, forearms, triceps, deltoids, and lats. I uh, wouldn't say too much triceps. It's also great for building back and shoulder strength. In order to do a proper pull-up, your back must be fully extended with your arms straight down in the starting position. Try to avoid bending at the elbows too much as it may cause discomfort or injury. So you're doing a pull-up, but you don't want to bend at the elbow. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to think how you can do a pull up without bending at the elbow there. Okay. But uh, where were we? If you have trouble doing this exercise with straight arms and fully extended back. So how are you doing a pull up by keeping your arms only straight? I don't know. So this definitely needs editing. Let's continue on. The bench press is one of the best muscle builder building exercises you can do. This movement works your chest, shoulders, and triceps in a single exercise. Okay. At least we're good with that. It's important to remember that this movement should be done with proper form. 
This exercise is perfect for those looking to build a bigger chest. However, it can also be used to tone the arms as well as focusing on the biceps and triceps specifically. To make this exercise more effective, use the lower weight at first. You can focus and so on and so on. Uh, deadlift, that does work a lot. Your legs, back, biceps, abs, glutes, develop your entire physique. Okay, so some of this is hit or miss. And with anything related to like muscle building, health, like there's going to be a lot of stuff you definitely need to edit. So overall, the quality is not bad if it wasn't for a lot of the stuff you need to edit. So that's kind of like what I said in the beginning. I had created this and I skimmed over it, but I finally read it. So you are going to need to make some edits here. Like I said, a lot of this wasn't good, but when we get to squats, pull-ups was a little iffy. It's like, you got to keep your arms straight, really, for a pull-up. Bench press was good, deadlift was good, and then at the end. So, you know, you can kind of get your own opinion on that. I do like how it creates a ton of content for you once, and then you just got to go back and edit it. That's kind of going to be the vibe when it comes to this. At least that's what I get. Like I always say, the longer the content that it generates and the least amount of input you put in, usually the more you're going to have to edit it. Okay. So let's go to the next one. We have outline mode. This is one I'm just going to do right in front of you. So input a descriptive article title and subsections and wordplay will write an article covering each subsection. So with this, what you want to do is get your title and then pretty much some bullet points. As you can see here, I put the benefits of webinars for online business owners, you know, benefit, you can generate leads, you can increase your sales, it can run around the clock, uh, your expertise, and you can collab with other business owners. So that's all we need to do for that. I'm not going to add an FAQ section. I'm just going to do proceed and submit job and we'll go from there. Let's click confirm. Okay, and that probably took about uh, less than 30 seconds to create, which is good. So once it was done, uh, let's actually go through because I want to read this one should be a little bit easier because it's, you know, we're not webinars like specifically for generating leads, making sales a little bit easier to describe than like, say, doing specific exercises and if it works muscle groups. So uh, it can be a challenging field. It can also be very rewarding. It's constantly changing and evolving, which means that staying on top of trends and marketing strategies can be a challenge for many small business owners. If you own an online business, chances are you already have already come up with some great ways to market your company. However, as companies enter the market every day, staying ahead of the competition can be difficult at times. That's where webinars come in handy. An online presentation combined with audio recording is a perfect way to share information with your target audience without needing to meet in person or travel on a regular basis. Let's take a look at the benefits. So overall, this was great. I love the introduction talking about how things can be challenging. This is happening, but hey, here come the webinars to save the day. That was great. No problems with that. Good to go. I like that. So benefit number one, you can generate leads with webinars. So when you create an online presentation, people are more likely to listen and take action because they've already invested time into the process. For example, if you run a webinar on how to increase your conversion rates, people will most likely click through on your website or follow your brand on social media after attending the webinar. Another benefit of having professional webinars is it's easier to reach new clients and customers. I was going to say that's more of the lead generation aspect. You don't need to spend as much time trying to meet in person. Uh, people want to hear from you. Okay, so overall, not bad. That could be a little bit better. I'd say a little bit more laser focused on like actual getting leads. I'd say they talked about more of that right here because it's easier to reach new people and you don't have to meet in public. Okay. So you can increase your sales, uh, provides an excellent opportunity to share information about your product or service. Uh, you are engaging with your audience on a deeper level and you can increase your sales. Okay. So good. That is related. That's what I'm looking for. They can run around the clock. Uh, let's see. They don't have a lot of time for devoting or devote to scheduling. They can be done at specific times, specific days. Great. You can also track who's attending. Great. So that matches up. That's good. I just want to more so like skim towards these. Okay. They can demonstrate your expertise. You can give your audience the opportunity to ask questions, speak on specific topics, uh, benefits for businesses. Once that looks good as well. And last but not least with this is going to be collaborating. Those who attended your webinars are also interested in similar products and services to yours, which means they could be a potential client for you. Plus, the more people who attend your webinar, the more chances there are for them to become a lead or customer. Okay. So I was thinking more about like JV opportunities, but this offer actually brings up a good point. So overall, pretty basic. It got the job done though. Like I said, this one's much better to do an article for. It's a lot easier to talk more, like I said, about generating leads, making sales, you know, evergreen webinars, freeing up your time. But when you start getting into muscle building, I think stuff like that is a much more true test to like how accurate something can be. So you'll notice with the niches, something like this, it's going to be a lot smoother, less things to fix. And with like muscle building health and things where you might really need to critique it, you're probably going to have to do that. Let's do one more example here. 
So we have title mode, input descriptive articles, uh, titles line by line, and WordPlay will write a full article for each title. So what I did is just search Google and I'm like benefits of email marketing for small businesses. So this is a keyword and I just wanted to use that as a title. I just put that as the project name and it, all you need to do is enter in these two things. So the name and the title, you know, you can actually do more if you want, but one's going to be fine uh, to give you a good idea of what it's going to be talking about. Estimated words is going to be 1000. So let's click on submit and then confirm. Okay, and so here it is. That one was very, that was probably quicker than the last one. So this would be the last example. And we have, so everything is pretty much gonna be from scratch. So this is like a, a good idea of, you know, can it create some good content with only giving a title? So email marketing is a great way to build trust with your customers. It's also one of the most effective ways to market a small business using a service like MailChimp. It's a high impact way to grow your email list. Here are some benefits that you can get when you sign up for email marketing services. So increased engagement, that's good. It talks about the results, increased engagement from existing customers, a boom in new leads, probably could be formatted a little better. Almost like these could be sub headlines that we talked about increased engagement and then there's a colon after, like that could be a new paragraph, a boom in new leads. Then you could probably do a new paragraph after that as well. And then it just talks more about what is email marketing. So these are just gonna be related sub headlines or just headlines. The messages are often offers of discounts, free gifts or other incentives. How does it work? You can track your email marketing campaigns. I'm just kind of making sure that it's related to it. Uh, I have tested software tools where we talk about when should you use email marketing? And then it's like 9 a.m. is the best time to feed your goldfish. And it's like, what? Okay. That's kind of like what I say, how far does it go off the rails? I think we saw that a little when it comes to the muscle building, like they're talking about how bicep curls, like work your feet or you know, I'm just being sarcastic, but a little off the rails there, but this is all related, which is good. Uh, the benefits, it's low cost, high impact. Uh, let's see the result. This looks like it was duplicate, a boom in new leads. I remember I saw that before. There we go, a boom in new leads, unless someone has unsubscribed from your emails, unless, okay, so we do have some copied content or just duplicate copy. I don't wanna say copy because it's you know not copied, but it is duplicate. Is that the same? So there might be some that was a uh, duplicate there who can benefit from it. What are the types of businesses? If you're not sure how to market your business through email, here are some examples, e-commerce stores and so on and so forth, fitness and nutrition companies, why you should use email to market your business and tips for getting most of your email marketing program. So overall, this one, once again, not bad. I do like the fact that you can just put in a title, literally a title, and it will create an article for you. Once again, kind of wrapping up this review and giving you my thoughts when it comes to this. It's pretty much everything I expected it to be. Like I said, when you just put in a title or maybe you put some headlines in, it's not a ton for a software to work with. So it's always gonna be, I think a little bit off regardless. And I don't blame that on the software because when you think about it, all we did was just benefits of email marketing for small businesses. It doesn't know what we wanna talk about for sub headlines exactly because we didn't tell it. So it kind of has to guess and just put up some similar content. So in that, in that manner, that's not bad. With this specific one, I do believe that it could be um, just formatted a little bit better, but that's something you can do. Like increased engagement could be a new paragraph. And there was another one down here somewhere. And we also saw that duplicate content. There it is right there, the result increased engagement and that was right there so that's something obviously they can change around and remove but aside from that this is all going to be related you know that one's good i'd say this is the best one i'd say and there's a good reason for that right we gave it the title we gave it the sub headlines so we know more specifically about what we want and what we want to get out of it so in my opinion that's been my favorite one to use then of course we had the one in the beginning with the uh, best muscle building exercise like i said these can be, uh, that one would probably be need to be completely edited. But aside from that, and some of like the uh, doing pull-ups without bending your arms, I got to figure out how to do that myself. Overall, I'd say the content quality is good slash not bad. It will get the job done, but please do keep in mind, you're going to have to do some editing. That's always going to be the case when you usually enter in one title, it spits out an article, and then you know you go from there. But if you'd like to test this out, I will leave a link down below. They do have a special deal. If you have any questions, uh, do leave a comment down below. Anyways, that about does it. If you have any questions when it comes to wordplay, feel free to leave a comment down below. And uh, pretty much my closing thoughts, you know, there's some pros and cons. It's not going to be the highest quality content in the world. What makes this unique is that the ability to create longer form content with such minimal input on, you know, on your part is a, a pretty cool thing. And I feel like 
any type of AI is going to just improve more and more and more, where the quality will get higher, you'll be able to create more words and so on and so forth. But feel free to test it out yourself. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.